Greetings Aquarius and welcome to your horoscope. Well, I mean, it, it's been kind of fun and dandy and, you know, even if you were just doing um, Zoom dates um, <laughs> or Zoom meetings with older siblings and friends that have your back and best interests, that's okay. That's been good and, I mean, that could continue this weekend, but we're kind of entering into this part where you're, you know, there's losses and you're, you're tying up loose ends and you need to pay your debts and you need to face your karma, you know, and, and once we get to January 20th and the sun moves into Aquarius, everything will be all, you know, glorious and dandy again for you. But I mean, until then, I'd be like, hmm, let's keep a watch on this. Now, Jupiter in your first house, you know, it, it's going to it's going to ease some of the pain, <laughs> even Saturn in the first house. I mean, it may give pain and restrictions, but there's a steadfastness, there's a slowness, and there's some real deep wisdom that you can obtain and that you're aware of, and you might be able to make more sense of this conjunction than a lot of people, because, you know, you're midwinter and coldest sign in the zodiac. Of course, you're going to give the most detached view. <laughs> I don't know if Aquarius is like that when I say that. Coldest sign in the zodiac. <laughs> it's kind of true though, right? I mean, think of Ronald Reagan. I mean, he did some cold ass stuff to the poor and the immigrants and the people suffering from AIDS and la la la. And he did some great things for military and Star Wars and all those other kind of things. <laughs> What do you know? You can't blame them, right? All right. Well, um, greetings, Pisces, and welcome to your horoscope. So, I mean, this is where we, um, this is where we gain faith. Thanks for being here for episode 500. I, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell. Cosmic Kev, Planetary Persuader, be with you next week.